Welcome to Toffee TV. This is a new show called Game of Your Life. But today it's Baz. He has picked Pro Evolution 4 from 2004. Uh, we're playing Everton versus Everton. We've picked our sides. My side is Nigel Martin, Stubbs, Yobo, Tony Hibbert, Naismith, Carsey, Gravison, McFadden, Osman, Kale, and Ferguson in a 4 5 1. Baz, what have you gone with? I've gone 4 4 2. I've gone Nigel Martin in goal. Stubbs and Yobbo at the heart of the defence. Steve Watson at right back. Sandro Pistoni at left back. Carsley and Gravison, the Bruce Brothers. They were the Bruce Brothers, I'm calling them that. In the middle of the park. And this is where it goes a bit wacky. I've got Marcus Bent on the right just because he was fast. I've got Alex Niarco on the left just for sheer fun. Just fun. And I've got Kale and Duncan Ferguson up front. The real Bruce Now Brothers. this is Pro Evo, so... Names and numbers are not necessarily right. Kale's number eight. I don't understand that. But who knows? Who knows? So come on, ready to go. We're ready. Triangle it off. Come on. Exit that bad boy. Let's go. Let's do this. Number one, why this game? Why this game? This was the season okay. we qualified for the Champions League. So it's got good memories for me anyway. Um this was when I felt as though Pro Evo went up a notch, building towards Italian. Pro mm. Evo 6, which was. Yeah, this was like, yeah. Was, but this was the build up to it. So, this is the season, yeah, we qualified for the Champions League. Fourth place finish. Mm -hmm. Other things happened that season that I can't quite remember. I can only beat Liverpool, Carsley, the iconic Kale yeah. Pitcher, yeah, and all of, of that. You know. There's black spots. There's, there's, that. there's dark spots yeah, as there's well, dark don't get spots. me wrong, like. But, um, well, look, just look at. Look at the squares on the pitch. How fast is this? This is what I mean. This is zippy football, mate. This is zippy, isn't it? Okay, that was great. Typical so, Gravison. I mean, this is the season we finished fourth. I mean, what can you remember from this season? What? I mean, it's not that long ago, even though it feels an age ago. Well, I remember, you know, the start of it was the summer we'd come out of the Euros, haven't we? Rooney had been incredible in the Euros, and then there was all of that. We're going to sell them, and I don't think any of us fully believed he'd quality, go quality play yeah. you know it was yeah. great play um, I don't think any of us fully believed he'd leave you know once a blue always a blue yeah, and all that you know but we knew things were going on I was working at the club at the time so I knew that things were going on the money was tight and everything else but I still hoped that he'd stay um, but going in you know oh. remember obviously <laughs> I remember when we bought Tim Cale and a lot of people were yeah, all day. Leave him on on Dunk. Dunk As if Dunk could ever ride round like that. He'd no. never leave on a set here like that either. Um, and when we bought Kale, I know a lot of people were underwhelmed by it. Mm. Paid one and a half million for him. We nearly didn't. I mean, don't forget, he, 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 was, he, he, he'd, agreed, he'd agreed terms yeah, with Crystal Palace. Yeah, yeah. And then the owners set, decided that he was too expensive at 1.4 million. It's unbelievable, isn't it? We got in there and got him, and we didn't get him for a bit because he was playing for Australia in the Olympics, if mm. you remember. And then uh, he comes and pl signs, plays plays against Man City on his debut, scores the winner, and gets sent off. Well, what was what? Mad, I'm just actually reading Legacy now, which is his book. And um, in the forward, David Moyes does the forward and says, I, "I remember the day I decided to sign Tim Cale. It was 2002 May, and I was thinking, it wasn't it? Was we bought him in 2004?" He goes on about going to watch him against Birmingham in the uh, the playoff and him and Bill driving back and then getting him in his office and he was and I was thinking it just doesn't flow, David. I don't think it was two thousand and two <laughs> at all. But uh, yeah, he came in and and that goal at City. I mean, the fact he sent him off, uh, he just literally pulled his top over his head. He didn't yeah. even take his top off. That was a massive win for us. You know that uh, that passed was it David James in goal? I yeah. think it was. Great cross by Ibert and a great head. And he went on to prove that, hey, he went on to score a lot of goals at Manchester City for us. But he, he just, he, his attitude and his work, right? And the big thing about Tim Cale, that was a, that was a bad challenge, by the way. <laughs> the, uh, the big thing about Tim Cale was he'd always pop up in the big games. He was yeah. a big game player for us. And um, we miss him. You know, we, yeah. we miss that type of that character. Really? I mean, I remember when he, yeah, he got one down Portsmouth as well, didn't he? No. Oh, and he yeah. just kept on popping up with these winning goals. It was yeah. just unbelievable that we paid buttons for that for a player, and and um, and and he was so lethal, and everyone hated him, which was well, which was great. 
The other thing about this season as well, it got off to a terrible start. Arsenal bounced us four yeah. one in the opening day. Um, you know, and it was a, a real people were thinking, oh god, there we go. And then I went the week later to Crystal Palace. Yeah, we played them, and um, Marcus Ben scored. And I remember him getting put through, and he slid it under the keeper. Yeah. It was dead fast, and I thought, oh my god, we've got a striker who's quick and can finish. Yeah, he only scored another four after that. But uh, Graveson, but he, Graveson scored an absolute yeah. worldie down there that day. But only give one to him though, didn't he? I think as well. That was the penalty, wasn't yeah. it? He took out. We were getting beat one nil, yeah. and uh, he, he took. I think it was Kevin Camp, was it Campbell, or was it Bent? He, he, he took someone out ridiculously, and Graveson scored the pen, and then scored a the lovely curler one, and then Bent wrapped it up. And you know, we just picked it up from there because that was a day. If you remember, I was in London, my sister-in-law was down there, and, and I came home from Palace and I got the paper the next day, and that was the, the whole Fortress, Fortress spun, yeah, Fund oh, deal yeah. was there, and what was his What's name? That? Christopher Alec. Samuelson. Yeah, but the, the, he was the Russian. Oh. The thing he was made up with, Bill, was living the dream with. Someone will know. Um, but yeah, him, and it was all in the paper, that the Russians are coming was the headline oh. in one of the papers I got, and Everton are getting taken over by... Oh! Steve Watson there. Getting no. taken over by Steve Watson. Steve Watson and his uh, consortium, yeah. <gasps> and then all the money was coming in and we were going to be buying this, that and yeah. the other. And we know how that way. Yeah, yeah. Looney was sold a week later and, <laughs> and off we went. But no, that, 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 this was also the, the, the run we went on with them. The 1-0, you know, we won six games on the run and mm. won it. You know, we were on a great little run. Yeah, well I remember being at Old Trafford on... Um, Deadline day, I think it was, and we drew nil nil, didn't we? With yeah, them, yeah. and I was in there. I remember, uh, like, we we had all sort of resigned ourselves to that Rooney was going, but then there's rumours he was going to Chelsea, so we were like making songs up that he was going to Chelsea and all kinds. And but it, it felt horrible, didn't it? Because I mean, at the time, Wayne Rooney was one of us, and we felt like he was our golden goose, you know, the golden egg, or you know, but not to sell him for them to play once in a, once in a generation kind of player, and then we yeah. sold them. But the way we, you know, brought in the likes of Bent and the way. We brought in like a Kale, and the way we changed things around as well. The way we we suddenly found the player in Gravison, the way we suddenly found the player in Carsley because of those positions and the way they played. It just it, it was just un unbelievable the way way we turned it round from a team that if we hadn't sold Rooney, God knows what would have happened. Probably would have gone bust to a team <laughs> that was a team that I think when we beat Liverpool on in the December, I think it I think it put us top, and top yeah. for a few hours, and it was yeah, just it was yeah. all perfect and. Everything just evolved, didn't it? He, he found a way of playing Kale, you know, because Kale came in and he played him in the in the centre of the park first, and it, you know, he he wasn't. I think was if I remember rightly, didn't he play him as a split striker at Old Trafford in that nil nil? Thank you. And then from them, we just sort of played them all the time. He popped up like you said. He got the winner at Portsmouth, and he just started going into those areas, you know, arriving late, scoring important goals, and Graveson and Carsley. But all done. Gravison and Carsley were there. Uh, to give there. He left one on me again. Oh. Yeah, you. Look at Niarco. He's gonna, he's gonna deliver this. Just gonna stand it up. Stand it up, Alex. Duncan will do the rest. Oh, that's a great day. It's a good defender. Um, and we, we just went on, and once we got on that run, I think we had forty points on Boxing Day. Yeah. Which was incredible. You know, we only took another twenty-one between Boxing Day and the end of the season, but up until Boxing Day. We were fantastic, you know, and then we went, I think we went down to Spurs and got spanked 5-2. Yeah, we did, yeah. Dean Marnie. <laughs> Bloody Dean Marnie. Still haunting Yeah, we had a little bit of a dodgy spell over Christmas, didn't we? Lost to Charlton as well, didn't we? Duncan come on and got sent off about three minutes later. Wait, oh, talking about the big <laughs> man, talking about the big <laughs> man! Oh! It's a chance. But, um, I mean, you know, Graveson, Graveson left us, didn't he? He went to Real Madrid. Yeah. And the second second half of the, se of the season was, to be fair, it was weird because I don't, I think, I, I, did we win? I don't think we only won something like six games. Five games. Five games, five games from like Boxing Christmas, Day. yeah, until the end of the season. And yet we still finished in fourth, even though it was one of the worst points tally ever, 64 points. 61. We or 61, yeah. Liverpool got um, 60, didn't they, I think, or 59. It was horrendous, but we st managed to finish. But Arteta come in, obviously, managed to find Arteta and... We almost bought Barry Fergus in that January. Yeah, as well. that was that one. But Arteta come in and he, come he, in. he just filled the space nice. Even though we played out on the right, 
he was he was, he was so in instrumental, that. wasn't yeah, he? He was, was so brilliant. instrumental in how we in how we played. The one of the performances, the best performance of the second half of that season. You know, forget United at home, which was incredible, but in terms of a, a fluid team performance was when we went down to Villa Park. We beat them three one. Yeah. Ozzy scored and Yeah, Ozzy, we Kale, Kale and, and, and like Arteta, the three of them were just magnificent. Just absolutely brilliant. And that was a, that was at a time when we never used to win down a Villa. Yeah. It was always a tough place and we went there and just to win that game we were fantastic and you know, we I think after that day we've been that convinced and we got our belief going. Um mm. You know, culminating in probably you know that result at home to Manchester United, the Duncan Ferguson diving header. You know, was a was yeah because you used Dunk brilliantly that season, didn't you? Yeah. There was uh, the likes of um, Norwich, Carroll Road. Yeah, when we won three two, but we did win a two 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 nil. Got back to two two, and then Dunk scored the header. And obviously there was the Man United game. There was the the BIM game on the Saturday where yeah. it was sort of like after the Lord Mayor's parade, and Duncan scored the goal. He come on, us um, up, didn't he? Wasn't playing. He come yeah, on, yeah. equalised down at the park end. Yeah, you know, David. Yeah, there was, ah! oh. yeah. There was, I mean, there was some big. I mean, it was some. I mean, I suppose when we went, to, we went to Anfield, didn't we? And the, wasn't that when Benitez called us a small club? Called us? No, it wasn't that. Yeah, that was the nil nil. No, when he it. when he beat us, that was his first derby at Anfield. Benitez, he he beat us three one, and he carried him on the shoulders down to the cop after the end, which I remember is the didn't, last time I went to Anfield because they were there. You're an eight on they were throwing liquids down yeah. from above and things like that, but it was just it was just horrible the the thing. And it was that I went there fully believing we'd beat them, and, and they ended up with ten men and still beat us. Yeah. So it was just typical. Kale scored late on. Yeah, um, wasn't it the one where Moriente scored? They had a shot from the halfway, halfway line, line and, and yeah, Martin did a bit of an error on it. Yeah, yeah. but saying that Nigel Martin and this Gerard season scored a free kick from the edge of the box as well. Nigel Martin this season was absolutely amazing. Wasn't oh, you know, some of the. Oh! Oh! Apart from that, <laughs> what's he doing? He <laughs> <laughs> Nigel Martin. <laughs> you couldn't have timed it any better. <laughs> yes! Big dunk. <laughs> Only just realised this is hybrid as well, isn't it? It is. That's amazing. Oh my god, the timing was perfection, perfection. But uh, Nigel Martin was amazing yeah, this season, yeah. wasn't he? And when you think about like how ragtag this squad was, you know, Nigel Martin bringing him in when he was thirty-seven, uh, and you know he was on the bench for his first game. Then until Richard Wright got the injury and never, never got back in the side. And you know, you had players like Carsley who had this tag of being a relegation for the player and it, it was just just it was just a mad mix wasn't it yeah you know, it was just that it was just a case of getting a way of playing and everyone sticking knowing the jobs but what they had what this team had was they had a great team spirit they had great hunger they, it was literally the a case of you know they was greater than the sum of all its parts and all that it was it was a well oiled well, it was a big seat. chance for those players though wasn't it because they were ragtag they were the likes of Kale who probably thought this was my big chance to be at it I mean let's be honest he got knocked back by Crystal Palace and he ends up at Everton and he you know he would have known the size of Everton compared to Crystal Palace but he took the chance with both hands Arteta someone who'd been you know was at Sociedad and, and there was all kinds of issues with him he took the chance Carsley took the chance once he was like playing in that holding role Nigel Martin it was his last big chance in football you know these players Graston you had the young players like Osman and, and Hibbert who uh, you know took their chance Stubbs who was you know lifelong Evertonian Ferguson in his in his, in his you know it, Ferguson was just getting this was actually one of the first times in Ferguson's Everton career where he was injury free and here's a chance! Oh, what a save oh, by Nigel! The me. real Nigel yeah. Martin! I've got the black one. I've got Jimmy Martin. I'm just gonna make a little change. Just look at you, mate. Subs. It was, it was, it was a case of players, you know, like we had Davy Weir stepped up. You know, players when you look through, kill ban. Mm. That year was excellent for us. Yeah. You know, he'd, he'd come in on deadline day, hadn't he? That was the 
players who come in and Bent. Not that like bent. he's been in before, yeah. Shotty. But, but even like, Bank got back in and but really. even like Bent, you know, Bent was never going to have another opportunity to no. play for an Everton. No matter where we were or what we were doing at the time, we were still compared to the teams he played for. We were a massive. Oh, oh! David Moyes, set piece. It's Gravison. Would never had anything in his life. Captain Gravison. He's now in Vegas, giving loads. Yeah, he's in Vegas. But he's just levelled up for me here with a header. That was amazing header. Niarco, you see, that's what Niarco brings to the party. Never make subs on corners. No, you don't follow it. But Niarco, that's what he brings to the party. Pinpoint delivery. Oh, look at I that. Mean, that's textbook. Textbook. You ah. can't do any better than that. Yeah, there you go. And I don't know how to restart just it. Just press, press triangle start. Or start. It's just that. Which you and I remember the Newcastle game. I mean, the Newcastle game. Liverpool were playing Arsenal on the Sunday. We yeah. were playing Newcastle. Basically, three points was all we needed, um, and we got them. Kale with the oh. Kale with the infamous, you know. That was it. That it was, was it. Done. We were yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. But, but but even though even though even though it was there and the goal difference was nuts, we, I never I couldn't even celebrate that night. It was horrible because I just knew there'd be some kind of like. To be something, and even though we still had two games to do it, didn't we? Yeah, you know, that was the well, thing, yeah. But <laughs> less said about those games, the better. Well, but, well we but, know the Arsenal game yeah. they got but, because they've been all on the pitch. Well, yeah, but, they, but I remember Liverpool played Arsenal the next day, yeah. The Arsenal beat them, that's when we knew we went to Arsenal on the Tuesday. They'd all been on the aisle, um, because they were actually oh, Timmy Kale, oh, yes, a typical Tim Kale header. Have a bit of that. Where's the defender? You Get in! in. Typical ever! <laughs> Stop the bloody cross! Oh, tremendous! God's sakes! Look at the space! Boom! And to be fair, it's, it's textbook Kale. Who's heading this? Ferguson. Why is he on his own? Kale. No one scores from that angle. Tim Kale does. So they went to Arsenal. They were all drunk because they'd been out on the Sunday. Because Moyes, I, I remember that actually. Moyes actually rung all the players and told them to get into town for a certain time. It was a, it was actually like a club, it was like a club, was a club dictated club. thing yeah. that they all had to go out. So on the Tuesday we get beat seven uh, nil, which was ridiculous. And then we went to Bolton and got beat three two. And the sad thing with the Bolton game is Kale scored an over a oh, kick, which you it. never see, and they never even included it on the DVD, the end of season DVD. It was an amazing over a kick, but you never see it. I think Carsley scored. The big thing for that was Carl. Carl got, got injured, off. and that's where he missed the whole of the next season, pretty much. And we lost, we missed them in uh, the Carsley. We missed them in the Al Champions. But of League. course, we get fourth, and then all the rumours start. Then Liverpool win the Champions League, of course, and then all the rumours start. Only four teams in. Liverpool, you know, they're going to let Liverpool in and all us in. And and I don't know whether that uncertainty caught the club, but they didn't go and get the players they should have, and we ended up. Well, all over the place. That's a story for a different day. Mm -hmm. But this was a good season, a great season, finishing fourth, some great days. And it's, it's not a bad game to be fair, considering it's yeah, it's a bit, it's a bit fast and loose. It is fast. It's a bit fast and loose, but I'm enjoying winning. Yeah, I mean, I can't believe I've lost the game to it. In all honesty, but if I'm gonna lose, I don't mind losing to a Timmy Kyle header. To be fair, like oh, oh, still time, still Kale's time. In there. Duncan can pick him out. Who's in there? I don't know, Kyle should have been in there, here he is. Oh, Gravison yeah, sweeps it up. That's the game. This has been Ga Baz's game of your life. I hope you like this feature. We were gonna we're gonna continue it. We're gonna get as many guests in as we can and as many high profile guests as we can. Maybe even some Everton players one day will come in and grace us, send some ex Everton players. Thanks for watching. It's a victory for me, it's a defeat for Baz on his game. We'll see you later on Toffee TV.